Good morning. I am Katina with Gypsy Wander, and I'm going to show you this morning how I make my coffee. I have a electric kettle um, that I boil water in, and then I do instant coffee. So let me show you how this works. There is a fill line in here, and so I fill to that line. So I'll put my water in. up to that fill line. Then I'm gonna put the lid on and on the lid is a vent hole so I have that open and I'm gonna plug that in. And then there is a button that turns blue that shows you that it is on. So I'm gonna let this sit here and um, and wait for it to boil. So I, I originally started out with my Keurig Mini, thinking I was going to make coffee every morning, but I'm in a minivan, and so space is precious, and so is power, and it took up too much space, and it also took a lot of power, which I knew it was gonna take a lot of power, but there's something about knowing how much power it's going to take and then seeing your battery drain down. So I quickly determined I needed to do something else. And I came up with this idea um, just to get, I was just browsing on um, Amazon and I've, I've seen the little collapsible kettles, um, but this worked better for me. It's uh, stainless steel inside and the outside doesn't get hot at all. And so there's no risk of, of, burning yourself or melting anything. Um, it has an automatic shut off so that if what, once it's done boiling, it will automatically shut off and it will also shut off if, if there's like a dry boil. So it has some safety features that I really, um, really liked. And it has the vent hole on the top that is not for pouring, but vents for steam. And so, um, I, I liked I like just the design of it and it's teal. It comes in various colors, but if you know me, teal is like my favorite color. So so that was an added bonus. Um it boils it boils to a rapid boil in about five minutes. I don't let it get to a rapid boil for my coffee just because I prefer to drink it a little bit well, not cool, but I want it I don't want it too hot to drink. And so I um have figured out kind of how long I need to hear it boil for to know what the perfect temperature is for me. Um, and it's great because you can, you can use boiling water for a lot of things. Uh, so you can make, make your coffee, make tea, um, any, anything that you need boiling water for, um, you can use this. So it's very versatile as far as what, what you're going to use it for. Um, and you know, anything for, for boiling water, it's just nice and, and easy. It is 350 milliliters, which I had to look up <laughs> is almost 12 ounces. So it fills my, my coffee cup. Um, when I go to the fill line, it's, it's 11.8 ounces and it's only three Watts. I'm sorry, 300 Watts of power. And so, you know, it takes about five minutes at 300 Watts, um, takes very little power. And so, that was that was a big um, selling side for me because I didn't want I, I wanted to save on the power. So what I do is I have my coffee cup here, and while that is getting ready, I have these Folgers single sticks, which I um, I I actually I like. They're just, just I'm not a foo foo coffee drinker, so. This is, this is just perfect. And I think this is like a medium roast. And so I use two of these. So um, I don't know what the instructions say, but two of them are just perfect for me. And I like that I have um, these uh, little single sticks. It just is easy to, uh, they don't take up much room and easy to, um, to do. Now you can probably hear it starting to boil. And so again, I know how long I want to hear that sound for before I, I turn it off. And it would automatically shut off when it got to a rapid boil. Um, but I like to listen to it just for a short time. Then that way I know it's hot, but it's not, um, 
it's not too hot to drink and once I add my cream it's like it's like the perfect temperature so I listen to that for a while and then uh, I turn um, I turn it off and unplug it and nothing is hot on the outside and so yeah I can see the steam and and it was it was starting you could see the start of a boil and so I pour it into my cup and I have plenty of room for cream and I just stir that up real quick and add my cream and I am set. So I will put the link to this in the comments or in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to get notified of when I make new videos, you can put that, uh, click that little little bell. But I appreciate everyone's support and we'll see you next time. I'm going to enjoy my coffee. Cheers.